Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're diving into dip powders from Creville Nails and we're gonna be doing some fun Halloween decals today. And we are on day two of our 31 days of Halloween series and I'm so excited. So we're diving into this mani right away. We are doing the gel method and then I'm gonna be using this really pure bright white dip powder called coconut vanilla. Now this white right here, I'm only gonna do one dip because it is so bright and vibrant. This right here, if you love bright whites, this one right here, coconut vanilla, is gonna be your go-to dip powder for a bright white. It's not chalky or grainy or anything like that. I cured it for 30 seconds, I dust it off, and look at how vibrant that white is. It is everything. And those are gonna be the nails that we're adding those decals to, but now we're dipping in to Spellbound. Now Spellbound is a purple. It is the perfect Halloween purple. It's also very buildable. So the first dip here you're gonna see here in just a second has a very gorgeous full coverage, but yet it has a jelly finish to it. So super fun and it's very buildable. So you're gonna see here, we're gonna do three dips of this. We're gonna do the two full dips on camera and then I'm just gonna do that thumbnail to show you the third dip so you can really see the how these powders perform in the pigmentation you get with that third dip, so that's why I'm gonna show you that. But if you're new to my channel, welcome. We are on day two of the Halloween series. I am super excited. Again, there is a big giveaway. I do have seven companies involved in this giveaway, so it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a great grand prize. You do not wanna miss it. Now, to enter in that giveaway, you're gonna fill up that Google form, and what's gonna happen is anywhere in this video, an image is gonna pop up, and remember that image, because then at the end of the video, you're gonna to go to that Google form. You're gonna type in your name and your email address and you're gonna pick which image popped up during this video so super fun and then you potentially have 31 entries to be entered into that giveaway so super fun and then we're gonna do a wheel so if you at the end of the series have 22 entries then you will get 22 entries on that wheel so super fun I cannot be more excited for this series. Okay, so let's dive in to these beautiful powders from Creville Nails and then I'm gonna pop back in in just a little bit. Alright, so I did the rest of the filing and buffing off camera. Now we're going to go in with a layer of gel base on all the nails and I'm going to cure as we go for 30 seconds. Now when I'm working with glitters and I have salads, I like to do the lightest color first. So I'll do the white first to make sure that's as pure as possible. Then I'll go into the next salad and then I'll go ahead and apply that gel base on that glitter nail just to make sure I'm not contaminating any of those colors with a sparkle. So now we're going to get into these really fun decals. These are from Nails Truly. They were just released today. They are part of a Halloween collection. And I really like them because they're, they're spooky. They're a little scary, but I feel like the colors that are 
with this decal. It has kind of like an 80s vibe to it and it just ties in the colors that we use from Creval Nails perfectly. So I feel like it's a little less scary because we have some fun colors on it. But I'm using a jelly stamper and again this nail is cured. And the reason why I like to do a layer of gel base because then it gives that layer of tackiness to really help this decal lay flat. So you're probably like, wow, that decal looked horrible on that nail. You just plopped it on there. It's wrinkly. It's hanging off. We're not done yet. We're just putting these decals on the nail first and then we're gonna clean them up and then the magic's gonna happen. They're gonna become one with the nail. So again, I'm just putting that decal over that nail and yes, it looks not the best, but we're gonna make it look really pretty. So another reason to why I like the gel base, it gives me a little bit of wiggle room so I can carefully move that delicate decal around just to make sure I have it exactly where I want it on the nail. So that's why I like the gel base as well. There's just gives me that sticky layer and then I can gently move that decal around. Okay, now to make this decal and clean it up and become one with the nail, I'm using this flat brush here and it's dipped with acetone and I like to use the onyx acetone and I'm just carefully cleaning up the sidewalls and the free edge and just gently melting away that extra decal that is hanging on the nail. You wanna be really careful when you're using acetone with a decal because you can actually melt or start dissolving the decal. So just have a gentle, delicate hand. You will notice I am taking that flat brush directly on top of the decal in that image. So basically when I'm doing that, I am just focusing on areas that might have a crease or a line or a wrinkle, and I'm just gently flattening that out so then you won't see that. And what's happening is that that decal is now becoming one with the nail. Just make sure you have a really delicate hand when you're doing that process and take your time. And then to seal in this decal right away, I am doing a layer of gel base just to make sure that that decal doesn't pop up or start lifting and I am capping that free edge and then I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. So we're going to do the exact same thing here with our Jason decal but you can see here I have a lot of overhang so I'm carefully going to snip away that extra just to help reduce that um, bulk on that nail with that decal so I don't have to worry about using that acetone to eliminate that much of that portion of the decal but again you can totally not cut it and just do the exact same thing like we're doing right now and just work away that bigger piece whatever you prefer but just make sure you are taking your time when you are doing this method with the acetone I like using the onyx acetone I feel like it's more forgiving I'm going to link everything that we're using in that description box below including this brush but I feel like the onyx acetone is more forgiving and it gives you a little bit more wiggle room when it comes to applying that onto the decal. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and seal in this decal here with a layer of gel base and we're going to cure that for 30 seconds. All right, so since we already did the gel base on the other nails here, we're simply going to finish up this mani now with a layer of gel top coat. So we're just going to seal everything in with a gel top coat. And that's all we're doing for this mani. If you ever experience any flaking or peeling or anything like that, you could always use a primer before you go in with your base and top coat. But here's the finished mani. It's purple. We have some sparkle in it and we have a little bit of scariness coming through. But I think this is just such a fun mani. And there's just something about these decals that are giving me like 80s, 90s kind of vibes. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But I love these decals and the combination of these dip powders. It's just overall really fun. And I really like these purples from Creval Nails and then Spellbound we have that gorgeous glitter and it shifts in so many different ways it's just overall super pretty but I really like how this turned out it's spooky and I love it so stay tuned again we have a whole series coming up and don't forget to enter in that giveaway so I will go ahead and link everything that we use in today's Manny in that description box below if these colors were not your cup of tea from Creval Nails head over there there are tons of gorgeous colors you're definitely going to find something that catches your eye and I'll see you all in the next upload.